Good morning, <coughs> Excellencies, Secretary General, ITU, distinguished guests, delegates. On behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of the Gambia, I extend our profound gratitude to the government of Romania for hosting the 2022 ITU Plenary Potentiary Conference. Thank you for the warm welcome and hospitality accord to my delegation and I since our arrival in the beautiful city of Bucharest. Excellencies, the ITUPP 22 is hosted at a crucial time when the world is recovering from an impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the global food crisis, especially in the developing countries as a result of the war in Ukraine. The Gambia is aware of these facts and is taking into account increasing the evidence of positive collaboration between ICT and improved economic growth. The government of the Gambia, under the able leadership of His Excellency President Adam Abaro, is pursued to realization of its digital transformation agenda. To this end, it has recently decoupled then the Ministry of Information, Communication and Infrastructure into two standalone ministries. The Ministry of Information Services, the Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy. This policy decision is a clear statement of growing realization of the impact digitalization economy, uh, digitalization in technology in the Gambia, developing process and increase the political will to support digital transformation process. The Gambia government has identified ICT sector as the recovery pursue first national development plan known as the NDP, which is currently being formulated in regard to digitalization of the economy is one of the main pillar of this development plan. The goal is to make the digitalization clustering and accelerating economic growth, improve the efficiency in both public and private sector and threatening the competitiveness in all sectors of the economy. In this regard, my ministry has initiated a large number of structural projects, including the review, inf the review of information technology, information communication and technology acts to introduce the major reform of the legal and regulatory framework to better take into account the innovation and emerging technology develop the Digital Economy Master Plan, currently supported by the EU, develop an e-governance system and platform in, introduce the national ID card system, improve the digital payment and the gate, payment gateway, establish a tier three national data center, excellent distinguished delegates. The utilization of ICT in providing the services remain challenge in the Gambia. The country internet penetration stood at 51.0% of the total populations the start of 2022, with the internet user increase by 2.9% between 2021 to 2022. In fact, in the face of numerous challenges, the ICT sector contribution to contribution continued to rise over the years as it accounted 3.5 percent of the GDP in 2019 and 3.7 percent in 2021. In fact, this, this, uh, in fact, the recent growth of the e-commerce platform uptake the mobile economy and the digital financial services. Develop an approval universal access fund and so the universal access to equality broadband services. Integration of edtech and adtech in the education and agricultural sector, especially in the rural uh, uh, services. Digital, tech, uh, digital health intervention include the deployment of smart ITC driven by the system and application to support the provision and quality health services delivery. To this end, the Ministry of Health 
in the Gambia has commenced the registration of insurance digital birth certificate and health insurance ID to all Gambians in June this year. The youth unemployment support by, supported by giving the digital startup through the training and provision of the seed capital, the government has also earmarked on the establishment of a rural information innovation hub toward ensuring digital utilization, innovation, transformation, social economy activities of the people at the grassroots. Excellencies, distinguished delegate, in conclusion, please allow me to sincerely commend the ITU for the successful organizing a very important forum for its continued support over the years. I wish to reform the Gambia is committed to, to continue further collaborate with the ITU and we look forward to the support of our quest for transforming our economy into a digital economy. On a final note, I wish to solicit the support of all member states for the Gambia candidate, His Excellency, Prof Professor, Ambassador Professor Muhammadu Ka, who is weighing for the position of the director of BDC. Thank you.